Hi, welcome to my living room. My name is Nance, and I just want to share with you something God has laid on my heart for the church here in America. How could I tell God no when he's done so much for me through his son, Jesus Christ? Well, these are the questions that popped into my head recently. I'd like you just to listen as I share them. In light of the fact that an overwhelming majority of disillusioned Americans would wholeheartedly turn to one man via a political vote to put unmerited faith in this one man to bring change, celebrate him beyond any other president in the history of our country as their hope for a better life, causing them to entrust their futures, their freedom, their safety, the rights of the unborn, to relinquish their personal decision-making power to him and a much larger government? What does this say about the spiritual condition of our nation, the majority's trust in God, their commitment to him and his higher ways? What does this say about our current effectiveness or influence as the church here in America? Have we been faithful to bring the good news to the lost, the disillusioned, pointing them to the God of salvation, hope, and true wisdom, to our ever-present help in time of need? Are we, the church, indeed in need of revival for the sake of carrying out kingdom business? This song was written by me, a sinner saved by grace, an at-home mom, convicted by the Holy Spirit to overcome the sin of apathy, who longs to make a difference in the land God has planted her with a fresh commitment to prayer and to outreach, and by inspiring others to action as well via her songwriting gift. Now I'm going to sing for you this song that God has inspired in me immediately after these questions, and it's, it's a heartfelt prayer, and it's entitled, Your Kingdom Come. Revive your church inside. Revive us, Holy Spirit, revive us. Come in demonstration and power. One nation under God, or have we left you behind? For enticing words of my humankind, for the wisdom of man, the blind, leading the blind. Oh God, revive your church today. Oh, 
thanks for tuning in. Maybe we can do this again sometime. In the meanwhile, be blessed. <laughs>